Hi guys, welcome to my channel, our video tutorial. I'm Abhishek and I share the videos related to our tutorial. And in this video, we will going to talk about the R Shiny widget, which is a text input Shiny widget. So as you are aware that we all, most of the times we need text boxes to get the free text information from the users so that they can enter the details and then it can be displayed as part of the display or it can be part of another routine, maybe storing into a database or maybe some other actions based on the information which is being entered by the end user. So for that we need uh, most of the time the text box and we will see how we can do it. As you can see this is just a, a code or, or a structure for a blank shiny application where we have the shiny UI, the header panel, the sidebar layout, sidebar panel and finally the main panel. This is always I have and I would recommend that you should also have as a standard code so that you don't have to write it again and again uh, whenever you are developing any new shiny application. So this is a pseudo code for UI and this is the code or a structure code for the server where I have the minimum code just so that I have the application blank application and up and running. So if I just click run app, I have nothing but just a simple application showing me text input shiny widget, which I have shown it over here. And, and I can move on and continue adding whatever I need. So I will just close this and I will come back here into a sidebar panel and we within the sidebar panel, we will going to add the text input. So the op the option is basically or the function is text input and then you need to specify the id which is let's say uh, we want to get the information about the so maybe it's probably related to project so maybe project code and then we'll say enter your project code we'll put a comma and say text input again text input again the input id maybe we say project name and say enter the project name put a comma and maybe let's add final one text input and maybe technology technology you are using all right that should be fine for now so we'll hit save and now we'll go back uh, into the server and create the functions which will help us take the input from here based on these project code project name tag and print this application and make a reactive function so for that we will use output dollar project code or maybe project underscore code so that we can write read it use uh, properly we will uh, add the uh, code over here and we will write uh, within the project code which is render text and within, within the render text we will say input dollar project code so this is the first and then we will write again or maybe uh, output dollar what I can write is project underscore name the reactive function and again render text and we will write input dollar project name similarly we will do it for the third one output dollar technology underscore used so technology underscore used we are okay and let's add it the third one which is render text and we will use input dollar tech all right so so far we are good so what we have done is we have added the uh, the input boxes on the sidebar panel we are taking the input and with this help of this input we are rendering or displaying the text but that needs to go as an output within the main panel so for that we will uh, we will use is text output and within that we will pass on the 
server object which is here project underscore code project name and technology used so first is uh, project underscore code comma again text output which is project underscore name and then finally the technology underscore used I think it was a small t if I'm not wrong go ahead and let's check this technology underscore used input approach name project underscore name project underscore code all right we are all good I think we can good here we have done entire thing now we can go ahead and let's say run the app so text output okay t is missing o u t t save it let's run it again and as you can see we have the input boxes available now and where we can enter so let's say enter project code which is a001 as you can see this a001 is coming properly over here let's enter the project name which is shiny app development so this shiny app development is here which is good now and let's say technology that you are using is the r programming so this is how your text box can be created which is looking really really good and it is reactive to the text object that means whatever you are going to write will going to be displayed over here or any other configuration that you have done over here to make it uh, interactive for the end user so as i as you can see if i enter any remove anything it is removing from here if i add again it will keep on adding it so it's really really reactive so that's how you can uh, add the text inputs to your shiny which uh, shiny application and make it reactive and useful for your end user to display the information or make it work with another code that that is necessary for your application logic well that's all for this video and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic